Virginia Highland was founded in the early 1900s as a streetcar suburb. It's named after the intersection of Virginia Avenue and North Highland Avenue, which is the heart of the neighborhood. Virginia Highland, also called Bahai, is famous for its craftsman bungalows and other historic houses from the 1910s to the 1930s. Adding to its charm is an eclectic mix of restaurants, bars and shops, where both locals and visitors enjoy trend-setting shopping, dining, and nightlife. I'm Tom Murphy, the owner of Murphy's Restaurant, a restaurant 35 years here in Virginia Highlands. I started Murphy's in Virginia Highlands because it was a college research project that I had at Georgia State. My favorite thing about having a business in Virginia Highland has been and still is today is that Virginia Highland is truly a work, live, and play neighborhood. Virginia Highlands is bounded on the north by Morningside, on the east by Druid Hills, to the south by Ponce Highland, and to the west by the Beltline which borders Piedmont Park and Midtown. Within these boundaries is Atkins Park. Recognized as a separate neighborhood, it's part of the Virginia Highland Civic Association and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Green spaces include Piedmont, Orm, and John Howell Parks. My name is Scott Drake. I'm one of the partners here at Mo's and Joe's. We've been uh, open since 1947 and we're a local neighborhood tavern. I think the interesting story behind our business is that the county line, DeKalb County and the city of Atlanta, DeKalb County was dry until the 70s. So we had a, a really good location, and location plays a big part in business. And uh, we would get everyone from DeKalb County over here to have a beer and enjoy themselves. The Virginia Highland community is very supportive of each other. I think we're a lot of small businesses down here, a lot of small business owners, and we look out for each other. The Virginia Highlands experience is uh, a little bit of a small town in a big city. Residential development began in the 1890s. The majority of the homes and streets were constructed between 1909 and 1926. You can find condominiums ranging from historic 1920s buildings to newer townhome and mid-rise options. Virginia Highland is best known for its oldest residences and landmarks, like the Craftsman Bungalows along North Highland, St. Charles and Virginia Avenues. Fire Station Number 19, built in 1924, is Atlanta's oldest operating station. We're Stephen and Stacy Duran, and we live on Highland Terrace. What I like about living in Virginia Highland is sense of community. I love the location. Literally, steps from our front door is Piedmont Park, one of my favorite places in Atlanta. The Beltline. Uh, our experience with the Atlanta in-town real estate services has been uh, extraordinary. The neighborhood enjoys walking, jogging, and biking along the Beltline, a former railroad line, now a 22-mile trail connecting central neighborhoods of Atlanta. The new Ponce City Market, a nationally known multi-use development, offers an abundance of luxury retail shopping and dining. Additional charm is found with annual, vibrant events such as Summerfest, Taste of the Highlands, and the Tour of Homes. My name is uh, Tom Smith, and I live in Virginia Highlands and the Virginia Hill condominiums. What we like most about living in Virginia Highlands is close location to Piedmont Park, the Beltline, and Pont City Market. Uh, we enjoy the activities that uh, go on in Piedmont Park during the year. Virginia Highland has excellent public and private schools and is served by several MARTA bus routes connecting to rail lines. Virginia Highland, the original live, work, and play neighborhood is a hidden gem that caters to those seeking solace in the city and entices visitors and residents alike to embrace a slower pace and settle into a Virginia Highland state of mind.